focusing on the shit that you're doing that's fucking up your life. Whatever the first thing that come to your mind, what's the first thing that come to your mind is like you got a weakness for it. What's the first thing? What's your weakness? What's the weakness? Is it liquor? Is it drugs? Is it food? Is it pussy? Is it partying? Is it buying clothes, shopping? Is it, you know, um, like what the fuck is it, Sam? That weakness is your enemy. That's what's destroying you. Right there. You don't second guess yourself. Why do men, you have all the answers. Any answer you need is going to come from the most high and the most high work through you. You lean on that. You lean on that. You don't need no self-help book. You don't need no guru. You don't need a content creator to tell you that shit. You don't need a book. You don't need to see a fucking therapist. You know what's right. You know what you need to take care of. You just procrastinate. And you procrastinate because you know that work is hard. You don't feel like doing it. So you want shortcuts. You want me to tell you some bullshit. I'm not going to tell you no bullshit. You want me to stroke your ego? I'm not going to do that. Go to your other, you know, go to that other whore that, that point out women bullshit. So your ass can never learn the shit that you doing. That's fucking up when you're dealing with these whores. Come on, I. I'm not dumb. I'm not. A, I'm not. Listen, I'm a woman. I know a lot of men did get hard for a big ass and a small waist. It's just fucking facts. I'm not going to sit on this shit and say, don't fuck that whore when your dick getting hard and you want to fuck that whore. That's your decision as a man. You do what you want to do. It's your life. It's your life. I'm not your mother. I can't thank you when you do something bad. That's, that's, that's your shit. You just got to know how to deal with them. Men do not know how to deal with with these hoes they just don't and men like these hoes come on i can't tell me you don't like these hoes you like these hoes don't, don't be the one sucking the dick the the, the tip amazing as fuck <laughs> like your wife ain't giving you the best brain you go find you a hoe and she suck she nearly sucked the life out of you y'all fucking hoes but y'all what y'all do is y'all bring that hoe put in your fucking castle and leave your wife for the hoe a lot of you niggas do that. Or fuck up a good, healthy relationship you got with the girl that's burying your children and that's doing what the fuck you say for that hoe. Because cause you get tender dick. And, and the bitch put it on you. And you get so caught up with what the hell she's saying to you. You get so caught up with what she's saying because she, what she doing is she blowing your brains up. She, she, it's called like, um, she blowing your balls up. So when you deal with your woman, your main chick, you treat your main, you begin to treat your main chick like shit and treat the new hoe like she's something special. And all the bitch doing is blowing up your balls. She not showing you no action. She ain't doing shit but riding your dick. And you get caught up in that shit. And you want me to point out what hoes are doing? No, nigga. I'm going to point out what the fuck you're doing. So when you deal with her, you know how to maneuver and operate and, and conquer her. Because it has to do with you. That's a you problem. That is a you problem. The, the problems that you having with all these women. That's you. Where, where you dropping the ball at fam? Where? You know where. I don't need to point it out. You already know. Damn China right. I spent the night at a bitch house. What I told y'all about sleeping at a bitch house. Why are you sleeping at a bitch house? Yeah, China right. I told that bitch where I stay at. Why are you telling bitches where you stay at? You want you a fucking stalker? You have not yet conquered the bitch fully. And you bringing the bitch around your kids. You bringing her to your house. Come on now, fam. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? You acting like stepdaddy. You know, you already got stepkids all fucking ready. Just met the bitch. The bitch gave you the best brain in your life. And that be a lot of you niggas weakness. It be that pussy. That pussy is y'all weakness. On some real shit. The pussy cannot be the weakness. No. No, no, no. You got to overcome that. I don't know if you got to sell your royal oats a thousand times for you to get the juices out your goddamn head about that pussy. But that pussy make a lot of you weak. And that's your enemy. It should not run like that. You 
fuck the pussy when she earns the dick. You don't just fuck the pussy because the pussy look good. You selling yourself short. She's conquering you. You literally submitting to her and her wants and needs. Because she going to want to fuck. Fucking is going to come. You talking about fucking quickies. You talking about head in the car. Head at the beach. Head like fucking that shit going to come. You just rushing that shit because you so happy to be in the presence of a bitch you actually want to fuck. You get excited and you get a shit away. Come on now. Y'all giving that shit away. As soon as you meet a bitch, she looks good. She got good energy. She fine as fuck and you want to fuck. So you give your dick up so soon. And then when you try to put the bitch in the right state of mind, you can't do that because you done already gave her the dick. Now you tend to dick as fuck. Can't tell me that's not how the game go. The game go like that. Or it could be fucking lust you wanted from the bitch. All you wanted was to bust a nut. So if all you want was to bust a nut, you ain't getting shit. You can bust a nut with your right hand. <laughs> you can bust a nut. By, you know what I mean? Like, that's corner minded as fuck. You, you should be at the stages that women want to literally move in with you and be with you. That should be the stage that you in right now. You should be in that stage that bitches want to serve you. If you over the age of 30, nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Those days of fucking bitches, one night stand is gone. You in your 30s now. You should be owning your first fucking home. Having property. Your business. If you're not there, then your focus in the wrong place. You shouldn't be worried about dating bitches. You shouldn't even be worried about going out. Your main focus is to be getting that goddamn money and being close with the most high. That's it. Because you done already lived up your 20s. So you said to give away your 30s too and your fucking 40s. Now your ass in your 50s and you trying to get shit right. Come on now. Everybody knows your metabolism slow up as a man. The older you get. Your metabolism, all that shit slows the fuck up. And you going to become bitter, angry, and mad. Because you're going to feel like, damn, I should have did this shit in my 30s. Damn, I should have did this in my 40s. Damn, I should have did this in my 50s. Now your ass 70 years old. Come on, now. Think. Think. What is more important here? Come on. That that delusional mindset got to go the fuck away, man. That's delusional. If you want me to do a live stream and tell y'all... How how women get ugly as fuck when they get older. Like, all that's going to make you feel good about you. That shit, that ain't going to do nothing for you. The most high already talked about that. That was already prophesied. You do know that. The shit pointing out what them bitches are doing, that's already been prophesied. You just want an echo chamber. I'm not your fucking echo chamber. You want an echo chamber, go to one of your other YouTubers so they can blow your balls up. China White's not. <laughs>